Hello everybody, I'm gonna give you today a quick tutorial on the new FCE Raptor. So this is our latest device, our small controller, the FCE Raptor. And um, yeah, first thing, we turn it on here. Then um, the system will boot up and you see here the indicator that the output stage is working correctly. And we will see here a blinking. Four times blinking means that the battery is 100% full. Three times blinking would be 75%, two times 50, one times 25. If the battery is low, this indicator stand on, stands on constantly. So then it's always red. Okay, now the system is booted. I, give, uh, I just give you a quick overview here of the different parts. Here you have an expansion. We see this later. It works for the upcoming timecode expansion. Then here you can connect the charger here. We do have um, uh, our plug to upload, uh, to download the script. Then this here is the known thermal breaker that you know from the FCA and the FC3 as well. And here is our arm switch. And here we plug in our remote pickle into this plug. And finally, this is our power digital phase three network output. Okay, we have five main um, main modes in this uh, controller, which is data table, check status, direct fire, manual script, and auto script. Let's start with uh, check status. So we see something going on straight away. I plug in this module. I set the module to zero one. To enter the check status, I have to press down mode and then select the corresponding mode. This is like a shift key on your keyboard at, on your computer. So I select that, I release it and I enter the check mode. I turn the arm key to check and then I have the three options that you also know from the other controllers of Power Digital. Manual check, semi-automatic check and auto check. So we go into manual check in this case. We are checking at the moment the address of uh, the module address zero zero. I have here zero one. I go down one, and you see here um, all the different uh, states. So in this case, I see that zero to seven are connected correctly, and that uh, eight to F there's something connected, but there's nothing in the script. So that's the question mark. It does not match the script. Um, yeah. Okay. So next one. Next easy mode is we go to direct fire. Therefore I have to turn over to fire. And then I can simply just select any address that I want. I can go down and scroll with the up down or also go uh, module wise. So my module at the moment is zero one and let's say I wanna fire zero one zero. Then of course I need to connect the pickle because I need the enable and now that bulb here should fire yeah so in this mode i can simply just go to every address that i want and fire it then we also have here manual script which is essentially the very same as in the fca view controller you can just um, download a script and fire down the script here by hand you can use macros, but you can also deactivate. And this device is thought to be very, very easy to use. So we said that there is an option where you can activate and deactivate the macros. If you have a more um, basic user, he might get distracted by that. So we took that out. But if you want to have that, especially for sport events where you want to have some chases or something like that, you can make use of it and activate it. I show you this in a second when we come to the data table. Then there's also auto fire or auto script means it is running a script based on uh, the internal clock. So I just start this running and runs that. Of course, now beeps to me because I have not enabled it. And yeah, now we'll output this sequence that is running here. I can also skip forward by repressing fire to the next uh, event. That is especially helpful 
This is especially helpful if you say you have a cake in your show and the cake box ran out too fast and you want to proceed automatically to the next, um, um, to the next shot. Then you can just press fire and you will skip to the next shot, to the next event. And you don't have this short time of nothing happening.